Hello, let's talk about the uh, uh, intuition behind Fubini theorem. We learned when we were integrating over rectangular regions, basically, uh, we're dividing that region into um, smaller and smaller uh, rectangles, and so and, and we can divide it into n by m, and then n by m can be uh, n and m can increase, and then the, uh, we build this rectangular prism so that where you can see it. There are some of them obvious in green, and some of the other ones are not filled, but you can see that those rectangular prisms are made, and uh, basically you sum them all up, um, and the height of them is either from um, whatever sample point that you have, uh, is uh, is going to be plugged into the function and gets the height. So that's a lesson from the past. That's that's how we compute the uh, volume under the graph of the function. Now Fubini is saying um, let's not just uh, basically compute every rectangle. Let's choose a subset of those rectangles that create a slab in either x or y direction. Here you can see this blue line is uh, along the y direction. Green over here is the y axis. Um, and what, what we are doing is that we were finding all those rectangles that are for a uh, constant x value. Uh, they have constant x value and, uh, and, and they, they basically uh, if we build them all together, they go along the y-axis. But this looks very familiar. We had this in Calc 1. Uh, basically, it's area under the curve. So it's area under the curve multiplied by that delta x right there. And so if I find each of these slabs, and then if I start uh, basically adding all of those together, uh, I get the volume underneath. So the next question is that, do I need to always go alongside y-axis then add alongside the x-axis for, for constant x value? The answer is no, you can do uh, in either direction. You can uh, first go alongside the uh, x-axis, then go alongside the y-axis. And Now you can see that the slabs are alongside x-axis for a fixed y value and, and you can add all these slabs and each slab is in uh, a calculus 1 integration or integration uh, over one uh, variable and then we all add them all up together. Uh, it's an integration in one variable times delta y and then that um, or we add up all the slabs and to get the entire volume. And that's what we need there. And we can basically take a double integral and integrate over one variable first and then take and integrate over the other variable um, in, in either direction will work. Of course, there are um, a little bit of um, basically restrictions there on how the function has to be and, and how the region has to be uh, but that's the that it tells you that you can do the iterated integral that's the you don't always have to uh, estimate the integral you can have the iterated integral work with uh, one uh, variable integral uh, done twice basically